All right, Anton Golf, you are the head. What's your title here at Maryland? Associate Athletic Director in charge of academic support and career development. All right, we are going to look at your guys' academic support, uh, I guess, development unit here yes. at Maryland. Go ahead and you can start walking us through it. All right, we'll come through here. Um, we started here, we built this uh, facility back in 2002. Um, so this is not old, but not very new, and so pretty proud of what we've got. Um, as you'll see when you come in here, we've got uh, facilities for uh, student athletes for all 27 sports. Um, 20, 26 of them use this facility. Football uses a different facility, but football is free to use this one. And our student athletes, if they're on campus, can also use footballs. And footballs is similar to this uh, facility here. Our student athletes come in here, they're check in. Um, most of our student athletes are required to do about 10 hours of study table a week. We're open from Sunday to Thursday, um, usually from Sundays 3 to 10. Monday through Thursday from about 8.30 until 10 at night, and then Fridays until 3.30, 8.30 to 3.30. If you look in here, you'll see that, um, and we can go in here. Let's, okay. just, let's just go in here so you can see it better instead of glass. Coming through here, you'll see that this is part of our study table area and computer lab. Our student athletes will come in here. They'll work on either their papers. They'll do some reading. Um, you see all of our computers are linked up, obviously, through the Internet, and they can also link up through our uh, library system, and if they need to check out books, can do that, or can look up books um, at the library without going to the library, check them out before they get there, and they'll have them reserved for them over at the library. Um, they'll come in here. This is usually kept a quiet area. Most of the traffic comes through here in the evenings from 6 to about 10 o'clock in the evening because most of our student athletes, their day consists of going to class during the day, practice in the evening, and then uh, late evening they'll come in and get their studying done, and hopefully they go and go to sleep after that. Okay, you guys put uh, the, kind of an interesting statistic. You guys put a lot of resources into uh, academics for your athletes. How comparatively would that be to like other major universities? Um, in the ACC, we are ranked first as far as our budget-wise. We're about at $1.5 million as far as our budget we put in academic support, career development, and then we've got about 15 full-time uh, people that work with our close to 700 student athletes. Um, Nation, na nationally, that ranks in the top 10% with uh, all the academic supports throughout the country. So we, we really make a commitment, our athletic director makes a commitment to our academic support of our student athletes because for us, if we've got a choice between a student athlete being an All-American for four years or a graduate, we're going to pick the graduate every time because an All-American is just four years. But here we're trying to do both. We want our student athletes to do great on the mat or, or, or on the field or on the court, but also great in the classroom also. And that's the commitment that we have, and that's the commitment that our uh, coaches have also. And we have a great working relationship with our coaches on that matter. What would you say that you may do different or the same as uh, other uh, highly successful universities? Uh, I think highly successful uh, universities do some of the same things. Uh, some of the things that we'll do is we'll make sure we're meeting with our student athletes to help them with the transition. Um, and not just our struggling student athletes, but our high achieving student athletes. Because sometimes I think some institutions forget about the high achieving student athlete. They focus their attention on those guys or, or females trying to get eligible. But we feel like we've got a, a program for all of our student athletes. Um, and then also I think that one of the things we do, we have a great life skills program. And so we make sure that our student athletes are well rounded, that they're getting community service, they're giving back to the, to the community that comes and supports, supports them at their games. We go out and make sure that they understand being a role model is important because no matter what sport you play, whether it's wrestling, whether it's football, whether it's field hockey, there's a little kid out there that wants to grow up to be like you. And whether you accept that or not, that's the reality. And so we want to make sure that they understand that everything they do can come back and be positive or negative. And so, you know, I think that we make our student athletes well rounded in that matter. You got anything else for me? I mean, you, you, you got it down, man. I, I, I like everything I'm hearing. You got anything else? Is there anything you would like to? Um, yeah, I can take you oh, back Oh, let's there. do it. We let's got, go see the know. tutors. Wow. I, I, wow. I almost yeah, I don't want to cut it short. I don't want to shortchange Maryland. Oh, wow. More. So back over here, we've got our uh, tutoring. In our tutoring room, what we do a lot of times, all of our student athletes have the availability to get tutoring for the class that they may want. And, uh, what they'll do is they'll come in here, they'll meet one-on-one. -on -one. And one thing about our tutoring is we call it a progressive tutoring system. What you try to do is at the beginning of the semester, give our student athletes tutors. And what we'll, what we'll do is we'll make sure that they're, they meet with their um, tutors at least once a week for the entire semester, as opposed to maybe right before a test or something like that. Because to me, I would rather them have something to do working on their classes progressively as opposed to just 
once, maybe three times, because then the tutor gets to know them, understands their learning styles, things of that nature, and can also tutor them better as opposed to only meeting them three times as opposed to at least 15 times. And so that's one of the things that may be unique for our program that may be different than other programs. All right. I mean, I'm impressed. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Let's show you some other stuff. All right, cool. Keep it rolling. Back here we have staff. This is the tutoring staff. They're the ones that if you need a tutor for whatever class, you come in here, they'll help me help you out. If we don't have a tutor, we'll contact the uh, college or the professors to see if there's anybody they can recommend, a teaching assistant, graduate assistant, something like that. Back here we have uh, some of our smaller classrooms. We'll hold group tutoring back there, or we'll just have a study table back here also. Oh, okay. In here? All right. Awesome. Yeah, we can check this out. It never rains here either, right? I mean, <laughs> never, never. We don't want anyone to think it rains here. It's just this is a fluke. This is a fluke. <laughs> it's always sunny. It's always sunny, right? It's, sunny. it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah, just want to let you know that. Yeah. Wow. So you guys have. I, I could clearly see you guys do put a lot into the yeah. the uh, effort here. Yeah. And is this uh, if you're going to get a tutor, would you have to schedule it, or could you walk in? You could. We we do both. Um, we have walk-in tutors for some of our basic, like, English, math, something like that. But most of the tutor is specific um, to that subject or that class, and it's one-on-one, -on -one, so you can have that one-on-one -on -one time where you can ask your tutor different questions. And then what we'll do, we may do in here is maybe if we've got 10 student-athletes in the class, right before the test, you'll come in here and have a review. But you'll also still have your individual tutoring throughout the semester, but just right before the test, everybody's taking the same test, get a nice review right before your test. Definitely impressed. Do you think that, uh, you know, is the low time right now being summer school? Right now it's a little bit slower. Um, we've got a lot of uh, student athletes in summer school, though, so it's still busy for us. All right. What well, about the uh, class checks and all that stuff? That's kind of neat. Some of the things sports. we do uh, also is we uh, actually, if we have a student athlete that we are fairly concerned about. We'll send people out to class check them. Um, we even have some coaches on, on some of our staff to assist with that to make sure that our student athletes are going to class and we're making sure that they understand it's serious to go to class because you know sometimes a student athlete may think well my test isn't for three or four weeks I can skip a class a day. We don't want our kids to skip class. We want them to go on, going to class and get getting the information there because there's no better way to get a good grade in a class except for to be there. And so we'll check classes and then if a kid's not in class Make sure the coach knows and the coach will either run them or there will be some type of remedial action taken against a young man or a young lady. And so, we do, needless to say, we don't have a lot of guys missing class because they know that comes down the pipe. Would you say that it's almost hard for a student athlete here at Maryland to, I mean, they almost would have to just not be willing to, to meet you halfway? Is, yeah, is it hard yeah. for them to fail essentially? Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you have a student athlete who cares about their education, they'll do a great job here because they're going to get a lot of support. Now, you know, there's some student athletes somehow, sometimes come with their priorities not straight, and hopefully we can straighten their priorities out and their goals and, and things like that. But yeah, it, it's kind of hard not to do well here. All right. Are you ever in on those uh, class checks? Uh, I haven't yet, but uh, they're trying to get me into that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is there any bases we didn't cover here? Uh, yeah, we got one more. Well, let's do it. Let's get there. Cut it up. All our guys go to class. <laughs> All right, well, this is the last thing we're going to check out here. Impressive uh, student athlete. And this is student athletes purely, no one else. That's it. All right, and this is. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? In here, this is our individual learning program room. Any of our student athletes who need that one on one attention from one of our learning specialists comes in here and works with our, uh, our learning specialists on things like time management, um, organizational skills, test taking strategies, things of that nature. And so they can come here and get the one-on-one -on -one attention that they need to be successful here at the University of Maryland. So this is the last aspect of our program. Hope you guys enjoyed this and if there's any questions or anything, visit our website umterps.com and you can uh, look up the wrestling program or you can look up academic support and feel free to contact and we uh, will answer any questions you guys have out there.